Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Ford Bronco Sport, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So we're gonna be connecting behind our tail light harness. So we need to get behind both of our side panels. To start, we're gonna remove our flooring. Next, we're gonna remove the spare tire. Next, we'll remove the two foam trays. They're each held on by two clips, one towards the rear, one towards the front. You just have to pull up on it. Now we're gonna remove the rear threshold panel. It's held in by two bolts. There's one here and one here. We're gonna remove those using a 10 millimeter socket. And then starting from one side, we're just gonna pull up on it. Now we're going to pull back on our side panel starting on the driver's side. Here there's a little tab and it helps to use a trim tool to pop it up. And then there's two pins right up here that we'll be pulling off. We'll just pull back on our paneling and we'll use our trim tool to just pop them off. Now we're gonna pop this white quarter panel trim right off. Now still on the driver's side, to give us more room and to be able to test our wiring harness, we're going to remove our tail light. We're gonna pop off this trim panel right here. It just pulls straight out, so you can just grab it underneath by hand and just pulls out. It's just these two tabs right here. And then we're gonna remove two nuts underneath there using a 10 millimeter socket. To remove the tail light, we're just gonna pull straight back. There's two pins that hold it in. There's one here and here. Now, this one's not too bad to take off. It is a little tight but there is a lot of room for you to get access to behind, behind it by pulling on it. And then we're gonna disconnect our tail light by pushing on the tab, pulling out, and we'll set this aside. And then we'll repeat all those steps on the passenger side. Now we're gonna take our tail light harness on the driver's side. We're gonna take the grommet off and we're gonna pull it through our paneling. So we're gonna be using a universal wiring kit to connect to our wires. Now we need to get access to our wires that go behind our paneling, which is why we pulled that grommet through to give us a little bit more room. Now we need to remove this tape. We're just gonna pull it off so we can expose those wires. and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now we need to test our tail light functions for all of our lighting functions so that we can hook up our universal wiring. We'll be using a circuit tester and on our driver's side, we will be testing for our left turn signal, brake and running light functions. And on our passenger side, we'll be checking for the right turn signal. Now to avoid probing the wires, we will be using a front probing technique, which will be just touching the terminals on the end of our harness so that we don't damage any wiring. So let's go ahead and check for those functions. So we'll start with finding our running light function. And now that we've found it, we'll just check the other one just to make sure nothing shares. And then we'll see which wire it corresponds to in the back. And now we'll check our left turn signal. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. 
So now that we've located all of our functions, let's go ahead and take a look at our connectors for our zero contact interface. Now these are a no splice option. For each of our connectors, it's going to be labeled with our function that we'll be connecting to. And to pop it open, we're just going to pull on this tab right here. And that will give us our channel. Our wire is just going to sit in there. And then we're just going to secure that top over it. Now you see that there's an arrow. We want that arrow facing towards our tail light. So after testing, each of our wires have a different function. So we found that our gray wire with the orange trace is our left turn signal. So we're gonna take that connector, we're gonna pop it open, and we're gonna connect it, making sure the arrow is facing towards the tail light. We're gonna sit that wire in that channel, and then we'll connect it. Now to keep our wire from coming out, we have this foam tape that's included with it. We're just gonna secure it on top, and then we'll wrap it around. Next, we'll do our stop or break function. This one we found was the white wire with the green trace. And then for our tail light or running light function, we found that it goes to the purple wire with the green trace. Now we're gonna take our connector for the right turn signal. We're gonna bring it over here to the passenger side tail light and hook it up to the green wire with the orange trace. Now we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal on the driver side and we're going to ground it right behind this panel right here using our provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're gonna hook up our power wire to the black wire on our converter box. Now our kit comes with one, but we're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive power wire. This has a protective loom on it to keep us safe in the engine bay. We're gonna be using a heat shrink buck connector to connect those wires. Now we're gonna route our power wire to our engine compartment to hook up to our battery. To do that, we're gonna go underneath our vehicle and follow our brake lines. So to get it underneath our vehicle, we have a grommet located right here on the driver's side. We're just gonna pull this up, and then we'll push our wire down. And before we reset our grommet, let's talk about where you can store your four flat harness. Now you have two options. You can leave it inside your vehicle, just store it next to the spare tire and you can pull it out through the weather seal when you need to tow. Or you can bring it underneath your vehicle and mount it right next to your hitch receiver so it's always ready to go. To do that, we're just gonna take our four flat harness and we're gonna bring it through that same exact grommet to bring it underneath our vehicle. Now with our wires through our grommet, we're going to reinstall it by cutting a slit 
through half of it so our wires can sit into it. And then we'll reinstall our grommet. And then to seal that slit, we're just going to use some black silicone. Now with everything hooked up properly, we're all done in our cargo area. We're just going to tuck our wires behind our panels and underneath our threshold panel to keep them out of the way and we'll reinstall everything. and then we'll repeat on the passenger side. So now we're going to route our power wire underneath our vehicle to the engine compartment. We're going to follow our brake lines all the way down, which will keep them away from anything hot or moving that can damage our wires. So we're going to start by going over this cross member right here. We're just going to take our wire over it and then we'll pull it down. Now we're going to bring it over these bars, over this wiring, and we're going to follow this wiring over this cross member. Now we're going to route the wire around this tank over to this underbody panel. Now that we've reached the underbody panel, we're going to remove some of these nuts using a 10 millimeter socket so that we can pull this down and follow our brake lines all the way up to the engine compartment. And we'll use some zip ties under here to secure it. And now that we have our wire towards the end, we're just gonna reattach those nuts. Now following those brake lines, we're just gonna push our wire up to the engine compartment. So our wire comes up to the right of our brake reservoir, right behind our battery. Now we're just gonna pull it as tight as we can and we're gonna route it on the driver's side of the battery underneath all of these cables. So now we're gonna pull our wire tight and we're just going to zip tie it to this wiring harness so it doesn't fall back into the engine compartment. So we have some extra wire left over. We're just gonna bundle it up right here. We're gonna zip tie it. And then we're just going to leave this right here on the side of our battery. 
Now we're gonna take our fuse holder and attach it to our power wire. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. Now we're going to attach our ring terminal to the positive post on our battery. We'll just take the cap off right there and we're gonna attach it to this post right here. We're gonna remove that nut using a 13 millimeter socket. And then we'll attach our fuse holder and resecure it. Now we're gonna plug in our fuse to our fuse holder. Now, as soon as we do that, we need to program our wiring with our vehicle. Now to do that, we're gonna to have to do each function for our lighting for five seconds. So we'll have to do the left and right turn signal each for five seconds, our brake light, and our running lights. So let's go ahead and plug this in and program our wiring. Left. Right. Brake. And headlights. Now that we know that our wiring works and is programmed, we're gonna route it next to our hitch receiver. We're just gonna go right behind all of our bumper support to keep it away from the exhaust. So now that our wiring is right next to our hitch receiver, we don't wanna leave it dangling right here, so we're gonna use a four flat mounting bracket to secure it to the bottom of the bumper. First, we're just gonna line this up and then using a quarter inch drill bit, we're just gonna drill our first hole. Then we'll line up our bracket and secure it with our first nut. Now we're gonna make sure it's squared and then we'll repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. Then we'll take our wiring and we'll pull it through and we'll secure it with the dust cap. So with our wiring powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. That wraps up our video. If you want more information on towing products that U-Haul offers for the Ford Bronco Sport, you can check out our article here in the description. If you have any questions about this wiring, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.